What are concrete aggregates? Well, if you consider concrete on the whole, aggregates are one of the individual components which help to create the concrete. One is cement. You've probably heard of that. You're familiar with that. You've heard of concrete aggregates. What are they? Well, commonly, most commonly, they are sand and gravel. So cement is often likened to a glue. It's, you know, a, a, a masonry glue that you're going to use to glue stuff together. Well, what are you gluing together? Concrete aggregates. So commonly you would find sand and gravel in a concrete mix. You could also find just sand and cement, and that might commonly be called a mortar or a grout product. When you add rocks, what you're doing is you're increasing the bulk of yield for a given component of cement. When you're creating concrete or mortar mixed designs, it's all done so in ratio to a cement component. So if you considered your cement component as one, you might have two parts of a sand component and three parts or four parts of a gravel component. And that's going to give you economy of yield. I mean, you could use a lot more Portland cement and a lot less sand and gravel, but you, you would achieve a lot less bulk of yield for your dollar. Ultimately, we use concrete for its economy. I mean, it's a wildly useful construction medium, but it is ultimately very affordable, and that's why it's risen to the top as being the most widely used construction material on the planet. So sand and gravel, that's what concrete aggregates are. Well, not exactly. Concrete aggregates could be absolutely anything. Anything that you're going to throw into a concrete mixer along with some Portland cement and some water and you're going to glue it all together. I mean, you could go from microchips to glass beads or broken glass or all kinds of crazy stuff. You could look at lightweight concrete aggregates, which could be stuff like perlite or vermiculite. Those might be things that you're familiar with. And these minerals could be used in place of, or in addition to, or in a combination thereof, with heavier, more commonly used concrete aggregates. It all depends on your application. Again, with concrete being the most widely used construction material on the planet, there is a host of different applications that you could potentially be using this concrete mix design for. So the right kind of aggregates for you, well, it's going to depend on your application. Most of the time, it's going to come down to sand and gravel for decorative or unique concrete applications. You could be looking at perlite or vermiculite or peat moss or soap suds or all kinds of wild and crazy stuff to make lightweight concrete from. But if you call the local ready mix concrete uh, batch plant and ask for concrete made with perlite microchips, you're probably not going to end up finishing that phone call before they hang up on you. And certainly if you go to the local big box hardware store, they're not gonna have any sort of bags of microchips that you can use for concrete aggregate. But it's interesting to know that the formula works. When you're making a concrete mix design, when you're using sand and gravel for aggregates, you can use other stuff as well because ultimately the cement binder works the same. You mix it with water, the, a chemical actuation process happens, it solidifies, stays solidified forever, is ultra cheap to produce. You can look at unique alternative aggregates for use in concrete, but ultimately the stone mineral component, sandstone mineral component that you use for making concrete is what a concrete aggregate is. Cement is the binder component, concrete is the finished product. I hope you found this information helpful.